Formal talks begin today between the Immigration Minister and the Government of East Timor over a regional framework for dealing with asylum seekers. East Timor's political leaders want to see more details of Australia's proposals to set up a regional processing centre, and they're calling for an absolute guarantee that asylum seekers won't be left languishing in the centre for years. Susan MacDonald reports. Australian authorities intercepted more asylum seekers yesterday morning. It's the 104th boat to arrive this year, the fourth in five days. With existing detention centres overflowing, the Minister has headed to East Timor to find the solution. Certainly it'll be a, a good two-way conversation, uh, exchanging views on what might be possible from Australia's point of view and also, of course, from East, Tim East Timor's point of view. Australia wants Dili to be home to a regional refugee processing centre, initially East Timor wasn't enthusiastic, but now it's open to the idea. Although at the start of direct talks, the country's president has reportedly declared any centre should be temporary. I'll be discussing with President Ramos Horta um, some of uh, the possible models for uh, a regional processing framework. Dr Ramos Horta predicts the proposed centre would cost $30 million to set up and another $30 million each year to run. Chris Bowen will also meet the country's Secretary of State for Security and members of East Timor's Parliament. Some of them have been openly hostile to the proposal. At home, the hostilities between the two leaders haven't tempered. Tony Abbott has again lashed out at Julia Gillard over his Afghanistan trip as he faces a plunge in support in the latest opinion poll. Today's news poll shows that in the better Prime Minister stakes, Julia Gillard has received a boost, while Tony Abbott's rating has fallen. And Mr Abbott's personal approval has dropped nine percentage points. The survey was taken after Tony Abbott turned down the Prime Minister's invitation to visit the troops with her in favour of making a solo trip. The opposition leader maintains a government source leaked the details. When it comes to Machiavellian bastardry, uh, the Labor Party are world champions. Now, um, <laughs> I, I do my best to counter it. Uh, but I think when it comes to that sort of business, uh, it's very hard to beat. And he won't go down without a fight. Susan McDonald, ABC News, Canberra.